Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. And have you ever experienced the annoyance of this? I've got this sweet EDC pouch from Garage Build Gear and it's top of the line, but the metal zipper on the back could be a bit quieter. Now I know you can use some metal snips and just remove the zipper pull entirely, but let's go a less destructive route. And also let's change up this slightly boring paracord zipper pull on the main pocket. Here's how. First off, you're going to need some thinner cord like 95 paracord or even 275 might work. I'm going to take my piece of cord and pass the midpoint through the top of the metal zipper pull through the hole closest to the zipper. Then continue with the midpoint going through the second hole at the end of the tab so that it looks like this. From there, take the running ends and pass them through the standing end loop. Pull that tight and we've created a cow hitch over the metal zipper tab. And this is going to cushion the metal tab slightly. To finish it off, you can tie a simple overhand knot or a diamond knot, a few snake knots. But what I'm going to do is tie some cobra knots because I want a flat zipper tab. So with my standing ends pointing upwards, I'm going to pass the right strand over the standing ends and then pass the left over the right cord. The left cord then goes behind the standing ends and then out the crook on the right. Pull this knot slightly closed. The lead strand is now on the left and pass it over the standing ends and the right strand goes over the left, behind the standing ends and then out the crook on the left. You can now pull these knots tight and pull down on the core strands and continue tying your cobra knots down the standing ends. I'm going to tie about an inch or two centimeters worth of cobra knots, but this is up to you. When I get down to the bottom, I'm going to do the clean finish by passing the left strand under the last knot so that both running ends are coming out the same spot. Pull that all tight and now just snip the excess strands, melt with the lighter and press down on the ends to lock them in place. And there we have it, our zipper tab is now silenced. Well, it's not completely silenced, but it is for sure a lot less rattly and annoying sounding. And not only that, it looks pretty cool. Now, I do have a paracord zipper pull on this other zipper and it definitely needs some improvement. So let's just snip off this existing pull. And I've got just the bead I wanna use for this and it's the Dam Designs Poison Bead. So thank you, Adrian, for sending this over to me and it features some really cool graphic artwork from my colleague Mark over at Grayscale Carry. You can check them both out on Instagram and the Dam Designs website. This bead also has a large hollowed out bore so we can hide the stopper knot for a nice clean lanyard. I'm going to feed some 550 paracord through. And from there, I'm going to tie three snake knots. I always use the Tibetan method now, it's just easier for me, and if you're not familiar with this method, I'll have it linked in this video. Now after tying three snake knots, I'm going to thread my bead on and tie one more snake knot. Snip and melt the excess strands, and the bead hides the last snake knot. So there we have it, Weavers. We silenced the zipper pull and improved the look of a zipper pull. That's actually kind of hard to say, zipper pull, zipper pull. Anyway, uh, so what is in this EDC pouch, you may ask? Well, we're going to have to discuss that in the review video when we take a closer look at this awesome pouch from Garage Built Gear. So a huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. You want access to exclusive content and the Weavers of Eternity Discord. You want to support the channel directly, please feel free to check out my Patreon page. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support the channel by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content here, please feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.
Hey, what are you still doing here? All right, because you stayed for the post credit scene, here's a quick little preview about what's inside this pouch. Got a lumen top flashlight. Victorinox Pioneer with paracord lanyard and Schmuckatelli bead. This is the Big Idea Design Titanium Mini Pen in machined titanium finish. Got the Dam Designs Sidekick Pry Bar. A round square titanium dead eye coin in blasted finish. CRKT Scribe, cool little pen knife. And finally, my notorious EDC beer bomb multi-tool with Dam Designs UFO bead. So more on all this in the future.